your Linus has a penis the size of a fully grown water buffalo. Bjorn Linus. All right, Bjorn Linus with the weight Five, of a water buffalo's four, wiener holding three, him down. Coming out of Salt Lake City, Utah. Riding for Rome, Volcom, Celtec, Oakley, and DC. Getting his run going here, a little half cab in to start things off, carrying a lot of speed. Looks like he's going to go for the tree hit first. Whoa, and a switch backside 180 there. Looks like he kind of clipped the tree a little on his re-entry. Beej obviously frustrated with his first hit there. Coming into the second hit, nice big stalefish. Now this, uh, this course, like I keep saying, is no easy thing to navigate and keep your speed up. Definitely something to be said for the riders that come down and get a full pull off this course. Front side 360 off the cat track. Coming into some of the lower hits. A little shifty over there by the tree jib. Coming down into the last backside hip for him. A front side 720. Looks like he got caught up a little bit there in the landing. So Bjorn Linus, the man with a water buffalo's genitalia. Comes in with a 316 for his efforts there. So we head it back up to the top. Compass Moses it. Enjoy soft jazz in a stiff drink. Compass Moses it. All right, so Compass Moses in. Coming out of Frozen, Sweden. Riding for Quicksilver, Omatic, Union, Grenade, and Neff. This guy is basically a Swiss army knife of riding. Does it all really, really well, and he's one of the most stylish riders on the planet. So frontside 360, bonking the tree for his first hit. It's pretty cool the way these riders can actually just pick their lines. You know, they're not they're not set in one trajectory off these jumps too. A method off the second hit there. So Hump is plowing down through the pow, getting some speed up. What's he gonna hit here? Is he going for the hip? Yep, he's going for the hip. Up and over the little lean air over the rock there. A little powder hop. Coming down, looks like he's going front side here. Whoa, whoa, a little late front, oh, double front flip. <coughs> Hump is gonna take a little breather here as he adjusts his goggles. And coming into the last hit for Humpus's run. Not a lot of uh, not a lot of deep powder in Sweden. Every time I talk to him, this guy's telling me about uh, these little resorts that are really icy with a ton of jumps. So it's a wonder a kid like this can come out and do so well off a of big big backcountry booters and a really deep powder. So Hampus Mosesen with a 324. A man that likes smooth jazz and a stiff drink. David Benedict! When David Benedict speaks, people listen! David Benedict! All right, so David Benedict coming out of Munich, Germany, representing Solomon, Bonfire, Anon, Rockstar Energy Drink, and Swatch. And David has his own unique event that he runs over across the pond where he sets up a huge step-up jump, and he's invited Travis there. So Travis just returned the favor, inviting him to his inaugural event here in Jackson Hole. So David with a big method into some deep powder off the first hit, the tree. Coming into the little hit over the bush. The backside rodeo. Looks like he had to revert it around there. In the powder. Coming into the hip. Down to the cat inside alley oop 360. A little shifty off the cat track, carrying some speed into the bottom hits here. Whoa, nice front side three right there. David's having a pretty good run going here. The exception of that little revert on the backside rodeo. So here we go, David carrying some speed into the bottom hit. This would be the grand finale for David's run. Uh, front side 720. Oh, and he hits. He does a little revert there. Didn't go down, but definitely not the way that he wanted to pull that one. So David Holy Benedict. Crap. It's a 384 uh. for that uh. run right there. Oh, my God. And it's dumping snow right now, making visibility oh my God. a little bit difficult for these riders oh coming down. Powder's definitely great, but usually not for a contest day. It's fun to cook when you are watching Fuel TV. Hello, everyone. Today we're making a winter favorite. Stand Who is 
sandwiches. Yummy, yummy. Mommy, you like? Yes. Here at TV. Gigi Ruff. Once partook in a 36 hour staring contest. Gigi Ruff. All right, so Gigi Ruff coming out of Austria, riding for Volcom, Burton, Dragon, Nixon, and DVS. Now, as you see the snow come down here sideways, it's definitely hampering the rider's ability to see and get depth perception on all of these hits. It's for sure making things, uh, you know, next to impossible for these riders to get an idea of uh, how, how high they need to go, or how far, but definitely Gigi holding it together here on the first hits. Whoa, linking a couple back to back right there. Really tight transition from jump to jump right there. Coming down here into the hip, cat track hip. Bit of an inverted frontside 360. Kind of gets caught up in the powder during the landing. These guys are loving it, man. This is definitely a unique contest format that hasn't really been seen before. It's not very often that you get to land in deep powder during a contest format where it's actually supposed to happen. I've seen it happen a lot in pipe contests before, but uh, never when it's really supposed to happen. So Gigi coming into the last hit, a big frontside 540, manages to power through that landing. And as he gets a chance to breathe the bottom of the course here, take a look at his score, it's a 363. So Gigi Ruff powering through the elements that are working against him. Hold on, I need a... JJ Thomas, reportedly once spent $17,000 at a Korean barbecue. JJ Thomas. All right, JJ Thomas, best known for his bronze medal in 2002, the Salt Lake City Olympics. Riding for Ride, Capel, Echo, Vitamin Water, Breckenridge Ski Resort, Bluebird Wax, and Celtech. We're definitely going to see some amazing views here from the Quicksilver Cable Cam as JJ goes up and over with a frontside three by the tree. And the Cable Cam was pretty much the only way that they could do this contest and have it be able to be seen by the judges and the announcers alike. Big backflip on the hip right there. Coming in fast in here to the hip. Down by the cat track, up and over. And then popping off the cat track with a little frontside air. JJ, one of the cleanest styles in snowboarding. Nice lean air, going up to try to bonk the log. Setting up for the last hit, JJ Thomas carrying some speed. What's he got? Whoa, looks like he got kind of hooked on some powder there on the takeoff of the switch backside 180. So all in all, a nice run for JJ Thomas. A couple pretty sweet moves up there. Nice big backflip off one of the hips, and he gets a 365 for that run. So heading back up to the top. Rob Kingwheel. As a child was lost in Disney World for four straight weeks. Rob Kingwheel. I'm riding this thing for 20 years. These jumps never look this good. It's nothing but joy in this ditch for me. Coming out of Jackson Hole. He's one of three locals here riding in this contest. Definitely put his time in here at Dick's Ditch. Starting things off with a big backside 720 off that first hit near the tree. Carrying some speed here into the bush hit. Nice. Oh, going for the front side seven, landing a little bit in the back seat. Rob, definitely. Oh. Kinger getting caught up in the powder there, going for a little front flip. Trying to keep the rest of his run clean, almost landing on the rock right there. A little half cab off the cat track, trying to keep some speed up. Popping a method there next to the tree. Now one of the criteria of this contest was you were forced to do a straight air off these hits, and that's definitely something that you never ever see in a contest format, which is really nice to see, it kind of brings it back. So Rob ending things off with a big Japan air. And that'll be it for the Jackson Hole local, Rob Kingwell, starting things off with a big backside 720 and linking that into a frontside 720. So without that front flip and that huge glob of booger coming out of his nose, coming in with a 352 for Rob Kingwell. Selection's all about. Get those jumps for the first time and realize, well, I'm 20 feet up. Introducing the Fuel TV 3000. While other networks just suck, Fuel TV sucks and blows. Sucking and blowing? I never knew the difference. It's just the flick of a switch. 
Oh, I get it. Yule TV, when sucking just isn't enough.